We're going to add a blocking diode to our cheap little eBay solar panel. What's a blocking diode? Well, it's one of these things here. And you can see it closely, maybe. There you go, you can see that little grey thing there shows the direction of flow. So it should be going that way. So what does a blocking diode do? Well, when the sun's shining, you've got your solar panel doing its solar collecting here and converting light into power and it's transmitting that down to your battery which is getting a nice steady supply of voltage and it's all happy and that's all wonderful while the sun's shining. However, if you were to leave your solar panel connected to the battery during the night and it hasn't got any blocking diodes in it, what can happen is the charge can go back from the battery into the solar panel and then you've got a very sad battery because all the solary goodness and charging that happened during the day gets undone and then you may wonder why your battery's not charging well that's why and that's why you use a blocking diode so here's one i prepared earlier you can see it connected up to the battery there and we'll turn our multimeter on and you can see that there is zero so no power is flowing back into the panel at all because it's got a blocking diode on it already and let's connect up the other one that i got now this has got a different type of diode in it this is not a blocking diode though this is something else not sure exactly what it is but i know it's not a blocking diode and i'll show you why because we have current flowing back yes it's 10 volts the battery's on its way out i'm going to get another one soon but you can see there that the current is flowing back into the solar panel so wasting good charge so what we're going to do is we're going to fit the blocking diode and then we're going to have another look at it. So what you're going to need for this project is a pair of cutters to cut your wire, wire strippers, uh, soldering iron, solder, heat shrink is a good idea, um, and your diodes and of course your solar panel. What I'm going to do to start with here, I'm actually going to be extending the wires on this so I'm going to cut them both. But you want to cut it really close here to the end of the uh, the uh, cables here and you want to install your diode as close as possible to the alligator clip here the positive one so i'm going to just uh, lengthen these wires and then i'm going to attach the uh, little diode in the middle here and then we'll see how it goes okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to get our diode here and again you want the one with the the end that's got that little gray ring on it here that goes towards the alligator clip so we'll just connect that up to here and twist the wire around it and around we go and hope it doesn't fall off on us and then a good idea is to get one of these little uh, little setups if you haven't got them. Just makes life a bit easier. There you go, it fell off again. And you just clamp that in here like that. And then we just solder that or solder for you Americans. And we'll do that there. And then we'll do the same thing on the cable end here that goes through the solar panel. So again, remember, little grey ring there, direction of flow, that's going to the alligator clip on the positive terminal. And you don't want to get too much heat into that because you don't want to blow up the diode. So that's that side done. We'll now go and do the other side. Okay, so we're gonna now solder on the other side here. Make sure you've got your heat shrink on the wire uh, because you're gonna need that and 
you can't put that on once you've soldered it and that's annoying so I'll just wait for this to this little guy to heat up I really like this soldering iron it's really cool little gas powered thing no cords nothing to worry about great when you work on your car Heat shrink over the top. And our blocking diode is installed. So let's now see how it works or whether I just wasted my time. So right, let's make sure it's all working okay. Got the solar panel under the light here. I'll give it a bit more light. And so it is, yep, generating some power there, 13 volts. Now let's have a look on the car. Okay, so we've got the, the new panel there all set up, connected to the battery there. Let's now check and see if blocking diode worked so there we go we have got zero on the multimeter which is telling me that the blocking diode's doing its thing we've got no voltage draining back into the solar panel whatever's going to the battery is staying in the battery and uh, that's what we want it to do so very simple cheap modification to do to your solar panel i mean a pack of four diodes costs like 90 cents or something like that so i'll put the link in the description as to where i got them from and all that um yeah and that's it nice and simple mod to do and save you some potential headaches later on down the track have a good day eh